Come on, come on in the room. Come on, come on in the room. Hello, Natasha. I see Natasha is in the building. Hello, family. How are you? Nikia, I see you. Hello, hello. I pray that you're having an amazing day. I am so excited today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hello, Jessica. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. As you're coming on, please share this broadcast. Share this with your friends and share this with your followers. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. Come on in, come on in, come on in. I'm going to give a few moments for everybody to come on. You know, I was trying to come on and play this one particular song for you all, but, um, you know, my, my, uh, devices wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't cooperate with me. Give everybody. Okay. There it is. See, my wife can always come through. Listen, this song, this is my mood right now. I want you guys to listen to a little bit of this. It's called Innocent. I want you to know that you are innocent before God. No shame. Innocent. Innocent, yeah. Not guilty. Not guilty. Innocent, yeah. Innocent, yeah. Not guilty, not guilty. Innocent. Now, now you know the way. Now, now you know the truth. truth. Now, now you know the light. He died and rose for you. Yeah. Now you know the way. Now you know the truth. Yeah. Now you know the light. Uh huh. He died and rose for you. I don't got a masquerade because I already stood before the judge. With the judge that I was guilty. Christ said guilty, yeah he was. Then he said toss the case because I'm taking his place. I'm prepared to cross and I'm prepared to face. With the judge I gotta say my favorite part, then I'm gonna get off. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go get my people. <laughs> amen, amen. You're innocent before God. Listen, that uh that song, Jermaine. Hilton, our uh, executive pastor, he's an amazing, amazing leader. I thank God for him. Uh, both he and his twin brother, uh, their music is called Too Proper. Just wanted, uh, their, their group is called Too Proper, rather. Um, you know, he makes some amazing music, you know, some, some Jesus bars. Uh, and I want you to go and support him. Um, yes, yes. And, uh, you know, he had, they make some amazing music. He's a multifaceted and he's from New York, so... You know, he, he got a sharp business mind and, and, you know, he makes music and he just so happens to be uh, our executive pastor. Go and support him. I love you all. I love you all. Thank you so much for your love and support. Listen, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I want you to know that God, he, he re, he's going to remember you. Listen, God has not forgotten about you. I am Reggie Wingfield. I'm one of your lead servants over here at Contagious Church Charlotte, where our love, where our faith, and where our worship is contagious. I get the privilege to pastor alongside my beautiful wife, Prophetess Shanaka, Prophetess Shanaka Renene. She is my ride or die, the co-pastor. We are the lead servants of Contagious Church Charlotte. Uh, listen, we also have some amazing spiritual parents, our leaders, our apostle, our prophetess, uh, our very own apostle, uh, Lejean Cole, and also prophetess Valora Shaw Cole. They are the amazing senior leaders at Contagious Church Tampa. You can go get some Contagious 
love, faith, and worship over in the Tampa Bay area. If you're in the area, uh, I want you to go and connect with them. Uh, listen, follow them on the web. Follow us on the web, www.contagious.church. Uh, I want to listen. We are a few weeks away from the rise of the Shiro, the fearless conference. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, I want to encourage you to go out and go register. Blessing Stacy, how are you? Hello, hello, Desiree, how are you? I pray that you're having an amazing day. Uh, but if you've not already done so, uh, we want you to go and register for the Rise of the Shiro Conference. It is July 23rd through the 25th. Thank you so much. Uh, in Tampa, Florida, listen, I, I believe that God has called each and every one of us to be fearless in our own right. Come on, you cannot combat demons. You cannot fight demons uh, without having a bowl. Uh, my God, with a, listen, I believe that God is raising up a people who have the heart of a lion. Come on. Uh, as you begin to have a heart of a lion, nothing in, by any means will hurt you. Nothing by any means will stand in your way. Come on. I'm talking about giant slayers. That's the type of anointing that you carry. That's the type of power that you carry. I want you to know that God has called you. My God, to glory be unto God. God has called you to disrupt systems. God has called you to uproot demonic glory be unto God, demonic roots and up demonic systems because listen, God declares that uh, we have power to tread upon serpents. Come on, we have power to tread upon scorpions. We have all power over the enemy and nothing by any means shall hurt us. Hallelujah. Listen, I am so fired up. I'm so excited about what God is doing. Listen, God is not all of these, uh, uh, all of this foolishness that's going on and all of this stuff. And listen, I, I, I'm a firm believer that, listen, no plague will draw not God's people. I will not be moved by fear. I will not be, benched. listen, the devil is a liar. Listen, the author of confusion and the author of fear is the enemy. Fear is rooted. God says that perfect love casts out fear. Come on. When we begin to love on God, we don't have a reason to fear. When we begin to love on our God, we don't have a reason to be afraid and what's going on in this world. I want you to know that you are well protected. And listen, anything that is designed to incite fear is not of God. Hallelujah. That's why God is calling us to be fearless. I want to encourage you to go register to the fear, fearless conference. This is the rise of the Shiro. Come on. Hallelujah. Listen, as be, listen, I want to remind you of the word of God. As God begin to come together, as God's people begin to come together and they begin to come together on one accord and in one place, there is a great hallelujah level of boldness that will begin to rise up on the inside of them. Hallelujah. I want you to know this, that God is not calling you to fear for the Lord has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Before I get too stirred up, I just want to read a few scriptures to you. Uh, and as you guys can, as you're coming on, please share this. I want you to know this, that God has not called you to worry. God is not calling you to worry. God is not calling you to worry. God is not calling you to worry. Let me read a few scriptures. So um, over in Matthews chapter six, over in Matthew chapter six, I want to tell you this. Matthew chapter six and twenty five, one of my favorite passages of scripture, and it reads, therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for the body. What shall ye put on is not the life more than meat and the body. Than raiment. Come on. First of all, I want to just say something to you. I want to talk to a few of God's people and let you know that, uh, listen, God is saying to you, he doesn't want you to spend all of your time worrying about what you're going to eat and worrying about what you're going to wear. Hallelujah. Those are outward things. And God is saying there is so much more that's on the inside of you that listen, and God is not calling you to worry. Come on. I want you to know this, that listen, God already knows what you are in need of even before you ask of it. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life. I want you to know this, the things that you begin in your life, the things that you begin to allow to meditate on are the things that will encompass you, are the things that will literally, 
Hallelujah. It will literally uh, have you met whatever you decide to meditate on, whether it's worry. Stop. Glory to God. And I sense very strongly that many of you have been med meditating on your worrying. You've been meditating uh, about worrying. You've been meditating saying, what am I going to eat? What am I going to wear today? But the Lord is saying unto you, don't worry about those things because God, he has you already covered. He, from the moment that you said yes to God, God had already made provision for you. Even when things are crumbling and even when things are falling apart, even when things don't look unfavorable, God is in the midst. Come on. I want you to know that God is not calling you to worry. Come on. Hallelujah. God is not calling you to worry. Take no thought. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life. Hallelujah. And I also sense very strongly in my spirit that you've been, uh, hallelujah, meditating on that worry. And the worry has literally consumed you. Who am I talking to? And I want you to know this, that God, that, listen, you are not to meditate on the worry. The word of God teaches us that we are to meditate upon the word day and night. Hallelujah. You wake up thinking about the goodness of God. Come on. Hallelujah. Why is it that God will require his people to meditate upon, upon his word? Uh, because the word of God, as you meditate upon the word of God, it frees you. Come on. As you meditate the word, word of God, it, it literally delivers you from bondage. And likewise, when you don't meditate upon God's word, uh, you begin to meditate on worry. You begin to me meditate on being anxious. The word is clear when it... When it teaches us to uh, be not anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, let your requests be made known unto God. In order for you to walk in your great exchange, you cannot worry. And God is saying to his people this morning, this afternoon, that I, I glory to God. I desire for my people to meditate upon my word day and night. Listen, everything that you're going to do or everything that you're ever going to see. And listen, when you begin to walk in your great breakthrough and the reason why that you can begin to see the manifestations of your great breakthrough is because you've decided to believe God. Come on. God is saying he wants you to exchange your worry. And as you begin to exchange your worry, glory to God, there there is a great exchange of peace that comes upon God's people. When you begin to exchange your worry, come on, uh, listen, you don't have to worry about what's going on in worldly systems because you're not. Let me let me point you back to the scriptures. When God begin to release the plagues against Egypt. Not one of his people were touched. Come on. How, what does that mean for you and I? Hallelujah. Listen, the plagues were against the people that did not honor God. The plagues were against the people. Hallelujah. That held God's people into cat captivity. Catch it. Uh, the, the plagues were against the people that would not, that was refusing to let God's people go. Hallelujah. God is not calling you to worry. The word says, take no thought of your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink. Verse 26, it says, behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not much better than they are? Hallelujah. From the moment that God created you, from the moment that God created the heavens and the, from the moment that the, that God has created the earth, he already had a plan in motion to make sure that you are well protected. There was a, listen, let me be transparent. There were, there was a season in my life that hallelujah, that financially, listen, I, I went through some pretty rough times financially uh, in past times, but I want you to know that I begin to pray. Come on. I begin to call upon God. I begin to say, Lord, hallelujah. What are you going to do about this situation? And listen, every single time that I would begin to call upon God. Listen, people would begin to say, listen, I, I God laid you on my heart and I want to, I want to send this blessing over here to you. Glory be unto God. I'm telling you that God, he is not a respecter of person. I'm telling you that, listen, God, he did it for me. He shall do it for you. Are you willing to exchange the worry for peace? Come on, glory be unto God. God is not calling you to worry. God is wanting, God desires to release a great exchange of peace upon his, his people. But the reason why you cannot walk in your great exchange is because you've been consumed by the issues of life. You've been consumed by the issues, my God, uh, daily issues of things that are going on that is beyond our control. Uh, how many know that God is still yet in control? Even 
even in the midst of Corona. Come on. God is yet still in control. Even in the midst of the murder hornets, God is yet still in control. Even in the midst of the Saharan dust that's coming, uh, God is still in control. Notice that I told you that when God began to release judgment, when God began to release the plagues of Egypt, it did not touch his people. I want to tell you that you are well protected. You don't need to worry about what's going on because listen, no harm, no hurt, no danger shall draw nigh you. You have to believe it. Uh, listen, and when you find yourself beginning to feel a little anxious, when you find yourself beginning to worry a little, I dare you to begin to declare and decree the word of God. Hallelujah. When you begin to decree the word, when you begin to declare the word, when you begin to put the word on it, hallelujah, when you begin to meditate upon the word day and night, everything that you will ever do in order to for you to walk in your great exchange of peace, you have to be willing to, hallelujah, declare and decree the word of God upon your situation. Ha, who am I talking to this afternoon? And I want you to know that God has not called you to worry. Hallelujah. Verse number 26, behold the fowls, for they sow not, neither do they reap. Are you not much better than a fowl? Come on. Somebody needs to hear this this afternoon. Verse 27, which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? Listen, hallelujah. I was having a conversation with a young lady at work a while back and you know, there were some situations that were happening and, and it was, and it seems like things were firing back to back to back. And the young lady began to look at me and she says, why? Uh, she says, Reggie, why are, are you, why is it that you just seem unbothered by everything that is going on? And I, and I looked at her and I smiled and I said, worry, worrying about the situation is a choice. Hallelujah. She began to look and she began to meditate on what I said. And there was a long, awkward pause. Hallelujah. And, and what am I saying unto you? If you decide to worry, uh, it is a choice. My God of Zion. But I look on glory. Hallelujah. I declare and I decree that God's people will no longer walk in worry. But you're going to not. Hallelujah. You're not going to be moved by what you see because we are faith walkers. You're going to be moved by what thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. And the word of God declares that we shall walk by faith and not by sight. Come on. You walk by what. Hallelujah. Your ability to believe. God in adverse times. God can do his best work in times of trouble. Come on. God can do his best work in times of storm. God can do his best work. Hallelujah. When, when all hell is breaking loose. But I want you to know that God is not calling you to worry. What am I saying? And I'm trying to teach you that there is a peace uh, that will come upon God's people when you begin to remember his word. Hallelujah. I uh, listen, and I'm not telling you to be a robot. I'm not telling you not to be human, but what am I at? What I am saying unto you have your moment, but just don't stay there. Hallelujah. Don't meditate on that thing. Hold on. Have you ever been in a situation where you begin to start feeling yourself meditating on the worry? Hallelujah. And then you just remember, you just realize, hold on. Why am I worrying? Come on. Uh, the word of God says that he will provide every need. How glory to God. Hallelujah. I dare you to begin to put the word on it. When you find yourself worrying, hallelujah, God said that, listen, he will never leave me nor forsake me. Hallelujah. God said, hallelujah, when you find yourself worrying, he is our present help in times of trouble. God is not calling you to worry. And God is saying to his people this, this afternoon. Hallelujah. If you begin, if you begin to learn to stop worrying, the more you begin to worry less, the more you begin to trust God more. Hallelujah. The more you begin to worry less, the more, the more you begin to trust your God, even the more in the name of Jesus. And I thank you that even now that the fire, hallelujah, the fire of God will burn mm -hmm. up everything that is not of him. Now in the name of Jesus, let the word of God reign supreme in your life. You don't have to worry because God has you protected. Let me keep reading here. Hallelujah. The Bible says in verse number, hallelujah, verse 28. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field. How they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you 
that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Come on. I want you to know that you are fearfully and you are wonderfully made. God has, hallelujah, created you and God has already put resiliency on the inside of you. And I want to prophesy to two or three of you and let you know that oftentimes you don't give yourselves enough credit. Hallelujah. Because listen, you are stronger than what you can imagine. You can you listen. Hallelujah. That's why you were able to endure storm after storm after storm after a storm and yet you can still smile come on and yet you can still encourage God's people and yet you can still hallelujah say listen God has me God has my back God will never leave me and God will never forsake me God is not calling his people to worry verse 29 and yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Hallelujah. Listen, God has made you beautifully. You are fearfully, you are wonderfully made. God has designed you with resiliency. God has resigned you. Hallelujah. God has created you with power. Come on. Uh, God has the, God has created you uh, to walk in demonstration because the word of God declares signs and wonders shall follow those that believe it. They shall speak with new tongues. Come on. And they shall mock God of Zion. They shall speak with new tongues and they shall cast out devils in my name. Hallelujah. And here's the summation of the, of, of the thing. Verse 30 says, wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith. Come on. Uh, God is saying unto you, the more you worry, the more, hallelujah, the less you can move in faith. Come on. The more you worry, the less you can move in what does save God. But I'm here to tell you that, listen, I want you to tear down this worry. I want you to tear down, my God, the spirit of worry in the name of Jesus, because God, he wants to exchange your worry for peace. People, hallelujah, that can walk in peace in the midst of a storm. Hallelujah. They have the peace. Listen, the peace of God comes from within. Peace, my peace, I give unto you, not as the world giveth. Hallelujah. I give how glory be unto God. My peace. God says, my peace. I give unto you. Listen, hallelujah. Not as the world giveth. Do I give, uh, but neither how, let not your heart be troubled. Need let neither let it be afraid. I want you to know that God is saying unto you, hallelujah. Glory be unto God. How much more? Oh, Hallelujah. Wherefore I say so, so wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith. People who are tremendously warriors. Hallelujah. They not, they're, they're, not, they're not allowing the peace of God to make, be made manifest in their hearts. When I was, let me tell you this, and I'm gonna wrap this up. When I was a little boy, glory be unto God. I used to love, we, you know, uh, I used to love playing on and jumping on the bed. Hallelujah. Don't tell my mom that. Uh, I used to love playing on and jumping on the bed. We would WWE jump, jump, you know, jump off the top bunk and drop kick each other in the chest. That's what we did as kids. But then we had this little thing. My uncles, he would say, son, jump. And I'm talking, I can remember I was five or six years old. I was fearless. Come on. Somebody going to catch it. I'm going to prophesy to you that you are fearless. Glory be unto God. When I was five or six years old, I can remember. Uh, that's been a long time ago, uh, but I can remember when I would jump off, he would tell me to jump. Hallelujah. And I wasn't hesitating. I wouldn't hesitate. I didn't think about I, not the, the thought of being hurt never crossed my mind. Hallelujah. Listen, I had full faith and I had full confidence that when my uncle told me to jump, glory to God, that he was going to catch me. And God is saying unto you, jump, daughter. Come on. God is saying unto you, jump, son, and I have you covered. I will listen. Glory. Oh, ye of little faith. Don't allow fear. My God, don't allow worry to keep you from taking that leap of faith. Don't allow fear. Don't allow worry, my God, to prevent you from jumping into your next place. When you get accustomed to jumping and moving, when God says move, hallelujah, he has a great exchange on his mind. Listen, well, glory be unto God. Let me point you back to the scriptures when Abraham, when he told him to go and I'll take you to the place, my God, hallelujah, he didn't ask no question. He just went. Come on. And as a result of his obedience, he was considered the father of faith. Come on. Hallelujah. It was glory to God. It was counted unto him as righteousness because he believed God. 
Hallelujah. When you begin to jump, hallelujah, God, he's saying, daughter, I will catch you. When you begin to jump, come on, son, there is nothing that is too hard for me, saith God. There is nothing that is too hard for me, saith God. There is nothing that is too hard for me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I, I, I can see in the realm of the spirit, the grasshoppers jumping and the wind begins to carry them to their next destination. Come on. God is saying unto you, you're getting ready to take the leap of faith. You're getting ready to hallelujah. I dare God's people to begin to jump in the wind. Hallelujah. As you begin to jump in the wind of God, as you begin to jump in the anointing of God, it will carry you to your next place. God is not calling you to worry. Hallelujah. Check this out. Verse 31, 6 and 31 says, therefore, take no thought saying, what, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Verse 33, which is, which is my favorite. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. What is God saying to you this afternoon? Hallelujah. What is God saying to you this afternoon? If you seek the face of God, if you seek the kingdom of God first, you have nothing to worry about. Hallelujah. Because your faith is not in man. Your faith is not circumstantial. Your faith is not situational. Hallelujah. What am I? Glory. Hallelujah. What am I saying to God's people? When you have full faith and confidence in God's ability, you don't have to worry about falling. Come on. When you have full faith and confidence in God, hallelujah, you can jump off that high place. You can jump from the scary place. You can jump from the place. Hallelujah. That does not Hot glory be unto God. Hallelujah. God is not calling his people to worry. And he's saying that this, this day, hallelujah, make a declaration. May have it, I dare you to have it made up in your mind to say today, Lord, I'm no longer going to worry about these situations. I know I'm no longer going to worry about the plagues of Egypt. Come on, because listen, the plagues of Egypt, they were only adversely affected by, hallelujah, my God, the accusers of the brethren. It was only adversely affected by the people, glory to God, that did not, my God, listen to the instructions of God, and they did not want to let God's people go. But I'm here to tell you, I'm hallelujah. Listen, God is saying, consider the fields. Hallelujah. If your heavenly father have clothed them, if your heavenly father has hallelujah girded them and created them and feed, make sure that they, that, that, that the grass, that the water from heaven comes and refreshes them. How much more will he, how, how much more is he more, con, listen, how much more is God concerned about his people? I want you to know that God, the Bible declares that God has created man just a little lower than angels. And I'm here to tell you that you are near and dear to God's heart. You are apple to God's eye. Come on. Hey, listen, I want you to know that God is not calling you to worry. And I want to come against and I want to touch and agree with you this afternoon and let you know that worry is not your portion. But God is saying, I want to exchange your worry. Hallelujah. For the peace of God. When you begin to, my God, walk to, in order to walk in your great exchange and the fullness that God desires for you to walk in, you cannot be concerned about what's going on around you. But your full faith, your full confidence is in God. And it is so. And it shall not be. That's right, Natasha, unshakable faith. And it shall not be otherwise in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you now, God. I want to pray and I want to lift up your people, even those, Lord, hallelujah, that don't have the capacity, my God, to remember your word. The enemy, listen, I sense very strongly that the enemy has been attacking your mind and the enemy has been whispering lies in your ears. Listen, I cut off everything that is designed to get God's people off of kilter. I declare and I decree and I tear it down by the fire of God, by the power of God and by the anointing of God that you will no longer walk in worry. You will no longer walk in fear, but you shall walk in full faith. You shall walk in full confidence that if God be for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah. If God be for you, hallelujah, the coronavirus can't be against you. If God be for you, my God, hallelujah, the murder hornets can't be against you. I want you to know that you are well protected.
that God, hallelujah, is concerned about your well-being. And God is calling you and he's saying to you that you are not ordained to worry any longer. Come on, cast down fear, cast down worry, be anxious for nothing. Hallelujah. But I thank God that even now, listen, uh, listen, we know and we understand that we are to seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto me. Hallelujah. The more I begin to seek God's face, the more I begin to, hallelujah, tap into the realm of the spirit, the more God will provide for his people. If ye who are evil knows how to give good gifts, how much more will our heavenly father give of those who ask of him? I want you to remember the word of God in the midst of your worry. If you begin to, re hallelujah, remember the word of God, high glory be unto God. God is saying, cast down worry now, daughter. Cast down worry now, son. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you that God has not forgotten about you. I want to encourage you today that God is not calling you to worry. And now you are, hallelujah, sometimes God, he has to remind us that in order to prevent us from worrying, we have to be so, hallelujah, engulfed in what thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Every, listen, I, I tear down every high thought. I cast down and tear down every imagination and every high thing that exalt itself. And it shall come under the obedience of Christ according to the word of God. Every thought that is not of God, you have the ability, you have the authority to cast it down. Hallelujah. Listen, this thing does not, hallelujah. Well, listen, well, I'm trying to teach you something. When that thought comes across your mind and it's not in alignment with what thus saith the Lord, it, it, listen, you have every right to evict it. It is there illegally. Come on. How my wife, she was talking about. Hallelujah. As you begin to, uh, when you begin to open up doors for things and you begin to allow things to come in, listen, you have to go through the process of eviction. Come on. Hallelujah. I, do, I send the fire of God to evict every demonic entity. I send, hallelujah, I send the fire of God to evict every unauthorized guest in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The spirit of God. And out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Listen, I see dirt. I see murky waters. Listen, your, your rivers have not been flowing like God has called you to flow. But I want you to know that God is saying unto you, cast down worry even now. Hallelujah. And as you begin to cast down worry, you will begin to walk in your great exchange of peace. God wants to exchange your worry for peace. Hallelujah. And I declare and I decree that it is so. And it shall not be otherwise. Listen, I am Reggie Wingfield, one of your lead servants. I, hallelujah, get the privilege to pastor alongside my wife over here in Contagious, hallelujah, Contagious Church, Charlotte, where our love, where our faith, and where our worship is contagious. We would love to connect with you. Go and check us out on the web, www.contagious.church. Come on, uh, listen, follow us. Go like our Facebook page, Contagious, Char Cont Contagious Church, Charlotte, and Contagious Church, Tampa, where the amazing leaders, Apostle Le John and Prophetess Valora, uh, listen, the headquarters of Contagious Church. That's where it all started. Uh, listen, we are all are contagious. And just in case somebody hadn't already told you this morning, y'all thought I forgot. Hallelujah. Listen, I want to tell you that you are simply amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time to rock with us for another episode of Contagious TV. Go and register for the Fearless Conference. Go and register. You won't be disappointed. God is calling you to raise up. Hallelujah. God is saying no longer fear, daughter, no longer fear, son, for the Lord is not giving you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Uh, July 23rd, the rise of the Shiro. Don't miss it. Go out and be hallelujah. Listen, God is calling you to walk in your authority because the entity, I want to tell you this, the type of power that you carry, demonic entities know exactly who you are. It's when you don't know who you are that you can't walk in your full capacity. But I declare and I decree it to be so now that God, you are no longer worried that, listen, even God is releasing identity upon his people. Many of you don't know who you are in the kingdom. You don't understand what God has called you to be. You do not listen. Glory be on you are a giant slayer. You've not understood. Hallelujah. Fully of your anointing. You're not weird. You're not strange. The word of God declares, listen, you are a peculiar 
your people. You are a holy nation. You are a royal priesthood. Listen and listen. Glory to God. There is, listen, there is nothing that God is not aware of. And I've been, listen, and I, many of you have been praying, my God of Zion, and many of you have been praying to send like-minded people for many times. And in, even in times past, people don't always understand your DNA. People don't under, uh, listen, people don't understand how you operate and how you flow in the realm of the spirit. You've seen things, hallelujah, in the realm of the spirit, and they begin to come to pass in the natural. Listen, come on, let every prophetic gift be stirred even now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, let every gift be stirred up on the inside of you in the name of Jesus. And I want you to know that God is not calling you to worry. God is calling you to be bold. God is calling you to be fearless. Hallelujah. Go and register for the fearless conference. Go and register. Hallelujah. For the rise of the Shiro, July 23rd through the 25th. The registration is is free, and those who want to register premier, uh, premier uh, listen, go and check that out on the web. I believe that God, listen, God wants to release a great impartation of wisdom and knowledge and understanding to his people. And I sense very strongly that glory to God, God is going to do something amazing in that place. Go and register. Listen, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, may the love, the faith, and the worship of God continuously be, consent, hallelujah, contagious concerning your life. I love you all. Have a great, great rest of your day. Bye-bye.